But I didn't think anything at first. I mean, it's just kind of, well, okay, what? You know, we don't want to assume too soon. And, and he said, uh, he said they found him. And I was like, what does that mean? Well, I don't know. Well, what do you mean you don't know? What, what, what do you know? Well, I don't really know anything right now. I just know that, that Brent Hyatt is at his house and, and Taylor Searle is at his house and that the cops are there. And I was totally shocked. I don't think that I said much. Um, I think that I just, I just kept thinking that maybe there's a mistake. Maybe there's a mistake. Are you sure? And he didn't really know, so I kept saying that maybe there was just a mistake because he couldn't say anything. He didn't give me any information, so I thought he said I was the first person that he thought of the call, but I think he called um, a couple other of leaders in, in Travis's business first that were close yeah. with him. I don't remember who he called or what order, but he called me, and uh, I keep thinking that maybe there was that they just made a mistake and feel like I felt so helpless because I wasn't there. I still lived there. I was four, I was like 10 minutes away, not even 10, maybe seven minutes away. I could have just driven there, but and found out and, and saw what was going on. I just felt totally helpless.